3.2, we have got two companies here. Flexi LTD and the second one is Broom LTD. Broom LTD. We have got these two limited liability companies, which is Flexi LTD and Broom LTD. The information relates to two companies. There is a background information that we are given here. It says board companies operate in a fashion clothing industry. The financial year ends on the last day of February each year. Board Yates owned shares in both companies. It's Bob Yates owned shares in both companies. On 1 November 2020, he convinced the board of directors of Flex LTD to repurchase 150,000 of his shares. He used the money received to purchase additional shares in Broom LTD. Right? Note, where comments or explanations are required, quote financial indicators or figures and trends to support your answer. So 3.2.1. Three point two point one, right? Profitability. We are looking at profitability of these two companies. Remember, Bob Yates owned shares in both companies, and then on the first of November, twenty twenty, he convinced the board of directors of Flex to repurchase one fifty thousand of his shares. He used the money received to purchase additional shares in Broom Ltd. Right. Profitability. Quote and explain two financial indicators to show which company is managing its expenses more efficiently and is thereby more profitable. So we need to look at the financial indicators of the two companies and we want to identify the company that is managing its expenses more efficiently. So let us then go to page nine of the question paper and information B where there is financial indicators there is financial indicators interest rate and market price of the shares if you look at the percentage operating expenses on sales for both companies broom ltd the operating expenses on sales decreased from 17% to 13.6%, while Flexi LTD increased from 14.6% to 17.5%. So in this case, we can see that Broom LTD is managing operating expenses effectively. And if we look at the operating profit, the operating profit of Broom LTD improved from 20.5% to 24.2 percent and the operating profit on sales for flex ltd decreased from 21.9 percent to 18.2 percent so going back to the question the question it says explain to financial to show which company is managing its expenses more effective so we want one company that is managing its expenses more effectively and this and in this case having looked at the financial indicators for both companies it is very clear that broom ltd is the one broom ltd broom ltd manages his operating expenses effectively. Let us then quote the percentage operating expenses. Percentage operating expenses on sales decreased. The percentage operating expenses on sales decreased from 17% to 13.6 percent so the percentage operating expenses on sale decreased from 17 percent which then tells us that this company is now managing operating expenses effectively because you can see that the operating expenses are now decreasing and even when you look at the percentage operating profit on sales 
percentage operating profit on sales it has improved has improved percentage operating profit on sales has improved it has improved from let's look at the percentage the percentage it is from 20.5 percent to 24.2 percent so broom ltd is doing very very well the operating expenses are going down and the operating profit is improving but on the other hand when you are looking at flex ltd the operating expenses are increasing and the operating profit are decreasing so therefore we are saying therefore we are saying broom ltd is the company that is managing operating expenses effectively that was 3.2.1 when we were looking at profitability then 3.2.2 3.2.2 has got three questions there. Let me number them to say the first one is A. We've got three questions there. Comment. Let me check the answer sheet. Let me check the answer sheet here. How did they put the answer sheet? We I have the answer sheet with me here. okay yeah 3.2.2 has also been separated into four into three questions so let me just number this first one as my a question right the first one it says 3.2.2 is based on dividends earnings and returns the first one says comment on the dividend payout policy of, of flexi ltd comment on the dividend payout policy of flex ltd explain why this is an irresponsible change in the policy provide two points explain comment on the dividend payout policy of flex ltd explain why this is an irresponsible change in the policy provide two points so let's look at the dividend payout policy of flex ltd the dividend payout policy right if you look at flex ltd their dividend payout rate the dividend payout rate has increased from 59 percent to 115 percent Dividend payout rate increased from 59% from 59% to 115%. The dividend payout rate increased from 59% to 115%. And we are saying that this is a very big change. This is a very big change. So you need to provide two points. That's the first point. The dividend payout rate increased from 59% to 115%. Why? The earnings per share. That's the second point. Earnings per share. Decreased from 138 cents to 80 cents one thirty eight cents to 80 cents but increased but increased dividends per share from 82 cents to 92 cents
not a good decision because the company is now depleting retained income. The company is now depleting retained income. 